Okay, so first of all, I will do equals sequence, and then we'll have 10 rows and 10 columns, and a start of one and a step of one, and close brackets and enter. And we get a sequence of numbers going from 1 to 100. I want to rotate these numbers round, so I will do sort up here. Then this will be the array. And then I don't care about the sort index, so I'll just skip this. And I want the sort order to be minus 1 for descending. And close brackets and enter. And now the numbers have been rotated round, so they start at 1 in the bottom left-hand corner and go up to 100 in the top right-hand corner. Then I will replace all of the numbers with symbols. So I'll go to Insert and go to Symbols. There's a few different fonts that we can choose from. So we have the Wingdings font and then also Wingdings 2 and Wingdings 3. Then there's also Webdings and then we also have the Emoji font. And we have to scroll down to actually see the emojis. And then we also have the symbol font. And again, we have to scroll down to see the symbols. I'm going to choose this circle here and then insert it and close. And then copy this circle. Select all of the numbers and press Ctrl-1 to open up the format box and go to Custom and paste the circle in here. And this needs to be inside quotation marks and OK. And now the font is wrong, so we'll go to Home and we'll change the font to be the correct font. And now all of the numbers have been replaced by circles. I will then make sure all of the circles are aligned to the middle and the center and select all of the columns and decrease the width of the columns and make a note of the number of pixels. So this is 75 pixels. Then select all of the rows and increase the height of the rows so they are the same number of pixels, 75 pixels. Then I want to change the color of the circles, so I'll select all of this and press Ctrl-1 to open up the format box again. And then in here I'm going to put square brackets and inside them I will type color 14. If you go online and search for Excel color index numbers, then there will be lots of websites telling you what all of the numbers and colors mean. Then I am going to put another set of square brackets here and say that I want any numbers which are less than or equal to 57 to be color index number 14. Then we need a semicolon and another set of square brackets and we need to tell it if the number is not less than or equal to 57 then I want it to be color index number 35. And I still want to replace all of the numbers with a circle, so I need to copy the circle inside quotation marks and put it here as well. And then OK. And now these circles have changed colour, so anything that is 57 or less is a dark green and everything else is a light green. Now I'll select all of these cells and change the fill to white in order to get rid of the grid lines and then select all of the circles again and go to copy as picture and then OK and then I can paste this and I now have the waffle chart as a picture so I can change the size of this if I want to and also move it around and do whatever I want with it. Okay, so in this video I have shown you how to make a waffle chart in Excel and that is everything.